Um, so this is bringing us to the end of the, of the, of the five presentations that we have, and I think that um, what this has really shown me over the last six months is that there really is no straight line to the solutions, and often in government, um, as I think David said, um, that we're focused on that, that really detailed piece that it can be difficult to, to expand and see what else is happening and see how else we can operate. Um, this has been iterative and it takes collaboration and uh, to be honest a little bit of risk and vulnerability um, which we've seen um, all across the board um, but that is where innovation happens um, and I have been so privileged to have a front row seat to all of this so for my personal thanks uh, to everyone who has shown up on this project and, uh, and dedicated their time and it, uh, it needs to be said as well that these teams have been uh, volunteering on this work um, so these teams have dedicated, the companies have dedicated their time because they saw value for this process. So again, thank you so much. And I'm looking forward to learning more about how the experience is going. Um, with that said, I would actually love to switch the slide. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, okay, so now that we have a beautiful background. I would like to invite Parliamentary Secretary for Tec Technology, uh, Rick Lumack, to come up to the stage and offer us some final comments. Well, thank you for the uh, introduction, Sue. I, I, I am so impressed with what I saw here today. Holy smokes. I, I'm, I'm so honored to be here uh, on behalf of the government. and. Uh, and here today, uh, uh, earlier, with, with my friend and colleague, uh, Bruce Ralston, the Minister of Jobs, Trade, and Technology. And I'd like to congratulate all the companies and all of the uh, 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 departments in the government that have worked together to, to put, these, uh, put these projects, these pilots forward. And um, I, I'm, I, like I said, I'm just so impressed with what I've seen. I, I didn't know what to expect today, and I, I'm just blown away. And, and uh, you know, BC, like we, our government is committed to, um, to be a global hub for tech startups and, uh, and tech companies. Uh, we are doing so much right now to try to, to grow this sector. Uh, we know that it's one of the largest drivers of our economy and, um, and we're very excited with all of the opportunities we have ahead of us and all the jobs that we're gonna be creating in, in, this, in this area. Uh, the talent uh, that I've seen here today is, is a perfect example of the kind of talent that we have here in BC. And I've been going around and talking to a lot of tech companies and, um, and been impressed by, by what we have here in this province. I, I come from uh, the tech sector myself. Uh, I'm kind of like, we, we've had, you know, government on one side and tech on the other, and I'm kind of the same. I'm one person representing all of it. And um, I, I've, you know, I've worked in, I've seen innovation and, um, you know, it, it, even in the tech sector, it's, it's not easy sometimes. Like, I've been in some companies where we've had to be uh, transformative with, with our technology. I was at a company, we were doing uh, computer animation, TV shows, and direct-to-video, and we went in to do a feature film, and the transformation that we needed to happen there was, uh, was, was, was challenging, and uh, it, was, it was difficult. And, but what we're doing here, we're, we're taking these little bite-sized things, and we're, we're showing what technology can do in, in just a few weeks, the, the change that can happen. Uh, is, is incredible. Um, you know, uh, the, uh, um, there, oh, sorry, right, let me get back to my notes, I'm sort of going off here. Um, <laughs> yeah, we, we have so much potential in this province, that's, that's the point, and when it comes uh, to improving the way we deliver services uh, in the things we've seen here today, I, I would like to see so much more of this. We live in a technological world, uh, and we need to embrace these technologies in government. Um, and, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be more and more of this as we move forward. Um, government needs to keep up. We, we, you know, we are, a, we are a big bureaucracy. And uh, like I said, the, to have these opportunities to show uh, in government how we can improve services is, um, I think, the, way, the best way to move it forward. Um, we, um, yeah, you know, the, seeing, for example, that the, the, first, the first project there, um, seeing how it can simplify something that can take, you know, a day to communicate back and forth, and I'm sure there's a lot of other areas where, you know, things are missed and, and all of this, and, and to have everything in a central place where people can communicate clearly 
uh, is, uh, I mean, we should be doing this uh, already. So it's, it's, uh, it's one example. I mean, I, I've, I've heard from people around, you know, mental health, the challenges that people have in trying to figure out how to get help, you know, and the technology can help solving that problem. Maybe some of the technology that was shown here today uh, can help with that. Um, the results are tangible. The wait times can be reduced significantly by utilizing technology. That's a big, big concern on a lot of areas of government. Um, how, how can we make things faster? How can we have a, uh, a quicker turnaround uh, for people that are in need of these services? And, and technology is, is a way to do that. Um, and here we are, in, we're the first place, I think, in Canada where we're utilizing this kind of a project. It come from San Francisco, I guess, this idea, and, and we're doing it here in BC. And I'm very proud of that. So um, I'm very excited about what the future holds. Uh, I'm very excited to see how these projects develop, and I'd like to see more of this in, in, uh, in, in government. And so I want to thank uh, all of the people that uh, have put this together and all the time you took to, to bring everyone together and show us uh, what is possible. Uh, we value the contributions uh, that you're making to government, and it's making things, it will make things better for all British Columbians, and uh, so I look forward to more. Thank you very much. Thank you, Parliamentary Secretary. That was uh, a really great way to, uh, to end, end on our day. I love your comment about uh, you're somewhere in the middle there. Um, so that's, uh, that's pretty, pretty lucky for us to have, have you on the team. Um, so these were our presentations. I have seen these decks. I've popped in on meetings. I've had biweekly calls. And it only sunk in today uh, how incredible all of this work is. Uh, so thank you, everybody, for uh, all of your hard work. This is really exciting. This was, uh, this was just an idea a uh, little, little less than a year ago um, from San Francisco, as you pointed out. Uh, and uh, we pulled it off. And we, that wouldn't have happened unless the smart ideas and the smart companies came. So. Awesome, thanks so much. Um, so uh, stick around, we've got some uh, food and we've got some coffee and we've got some opportunities for some more of the demos. Um, and uh, for those who have been watching online and anyone else who's in the room um, that might be curious about how, we, uh, how we've structured this type of a program, which is definitely a little bit different, I'm really happy to talk about it um, and uh, maybe we can see how we can uh, spur on more STIR uh, programs in other places in Canada. So thanks so much everybody. Sorry, hey folks, just one thing, just one thing. I, I didn't want to let Sue get off the stage without saying thanks to Sue. Uh, um, if, if, you, if you haven't been directly involved in the program, you wouldn't know how much work she's put in. Um, and bringing us all together, cranking through a whole ton of difficult questions, pushing through the, the legal things, pushing through the procurement things, pushing through all these details that really matter and the structures that have facilitated all of this. So huge congratulations to a really great job. Thanks.